It began probably back in August? September. September. We pulled into our garage and we saw a furry toad kind of hopping across the floor. But then we got closer, we are like, I think it's a mouse. And no, we found out it was a flying squirrel that was in our garage. We came into a house that had pretty much been overrun. And the first sign of it was, as I do when I come into my house, I open the food pantry to see what I want to eat. And I opened it up and everything was foods falling out and squirrels were just everywhere. <laughs> it's like national lampoons. And they went through all the walls and I realized uh, at that moment that we had a pretty significant issue. First step was to seal up the house and these animals were pretty ferocious. Uh, they were chewing through our louver vents. They're, they are one of the only other carriers of a specific de disease that is generally uh, a respiratory illness and they were in our vents and so it was being blown throughout the whole house. We got in contact with the Monroe County Health Department and they advised us that we need to vacate. So we did. We had initially uh, a couple thousand dollars worth of what I'd call securing the home. After that, we had to do the full removal uh, and gutting of all the attic insulation. Uh, this, the third item that we had to get checked off the list was get the vents cleaned out. All in all, these little rodents have cost about $11,000 in damage, which is, I, I just didn't even know that was <laughs> possible. It was a real blessing that w without more than a couple days passing that people were saying, we want to consider you for the Church of Benevolence Fund. Just having that um, given to us was really overwhelming and generous and we just, um, I, I feel like I'll never have a holiday season in this house where I won't think about people's kindness. We're looking to become foster parents and we're really excited about um, opening our home and especially once it's open to us again, um, to children who need it. Uh, so we're just, yeah, we're really excited about that. So I would say today is the first day that we would be back in the house. We just brought, you know, we're bringing our clothes <laughs> and our suitcases back, you know, this morning. And so we're thrilled with that. You know, I'm, I'm in here and I've been pretty satisfied with uh, the air. So I'm like, all right, good to be back in here.